Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Share Myth. In this session, we are going to discuss about another topic of journaling where we will see how we can print the journal entries. Also, we will see what all important uh, things are there where we can utilize the printed spool file because usually we have that DSP JRN option, right? Through which we can see all the uh, journal entries. But what is the need? to print those uh, journaling reports so this thing also we are going to discuss in this session so before we start let me show you the journal which we are going to use in this session and if you are already referring the series you know that this is the journal which we are using because from the last couple of session we are using the same journal so to verify that I am using work obj command here I will put the journal name my journal name is test jrn my library is shermit1 hitting enter so here you can see we have one object test grn which is of type star grn present in library shermit1 fine so this is the journal that we are going to use for our today's demo okay all right now what we will do we will run the command dsp grn okay and then take f4 after you take f4 it will ask for the journal name so which we have just verified I'll put that test grn my library name is shermit1 and this journal also resides in library shermit1 then we are supposed to provide the file name so in my case file name is students this is also something that we are using from the last couple of sessions then we are supposed to provide the library name where it resides so therefore I provide the library as shermit1 now if you are working with multiple members like if you have multi-member physical file then in that case you can specify that otherwise it is okay simply just hit enter two times here I will I will show you how to print but before that let me show you the entries so yeah these are the entries that we have in our journal alright now we will understand the requirement why we are printing it because we can see it directly so let's say uh, there are multiple team members who is working on the same project and let's say someone is there in the project uh, maybe a BA person business analyst purpose person right who is not that much uh, familiar with all these commands and all so what we can do for them let's say if they are pro uh, preparing some uh, document some analysis document so what we can do we can print out we can prepare one uh, printer file for them so that he can simply go and we can tell him that yes this is the command which will show you the list of spool file and you can simply take option 5 to read that that would be easy for them right and being a developer we can use this command dspgr and we can uh, take option 5 because these are something a uh, bit complex maybe for those who is uh, not that much of technical person right so that's the reason we are printing it and sometimes developer also need that let's say if you are preparing some documentation and you don't want to uh, go and again and again you want to type the DSP JRN command so that's why what we better thing is that uh, what we can do we can simply print the spool okay all right so now we will see how we can print the spool and then we will also see that how to print the pool for a specific records so both thing we are going to cover in this session all right so to print this pool what you can do simply write the same command DSP JRN which is display JRN again provide your journal name test JRN library is shermit1 then we are supposed to provide the file name which is the students again the library is shermit1 member is by default is a star first and we don't have multi-member physical file so it's okay we can simply leave it as it is now start doing page down so more than three times when you do page down you will find this option just navigate and look for this option output okay now let's see what all things we can pass to this function or uh, this field take f4 here it will show you three possible values asterisk star print and star out file so asterisk is by default so in let's see let's say if you would like to learn more about these things so what you can do you can simply take f1 here and it will provide you information okay so here you can see specifies whether the output from the command is shown at the requesting workstation 
printed with the job spool file printer output or sent to the database file specified on the file to receive output parameter now see what uh, what does three parameter means first one is star the output is shown if requested by interactive job or printed with the job spool file if requested by a batch job okay so by default option is this star or stiff then we have next option as star print the output is printed with the jobs spool output okay so in this case output would be get printed to the job spool for output then we have star out file the output is directed to the database file specified for the file to receive output out file parameter so in case of out file it will generate a new file uh, we will see we will see this option also because this is very important one and mostly we use that option only out file we create the out file and then we check out what all things have been performed to the journal we, we, we can easily walk through the entries generated by the journal so this thing we are going to discuss right but for this session we are going to talk about only about this option star print so here the output is printed with the job spool file all right so we got all the required information from here simply hit enter and here you can take the option star print you can directly copy it from here or you can simply write it after that just simply hit enter enter again once you hit enter it will show you 14 entries converted from journal test JRN in Shermit 1 now how to see that report or the printed file so for that we have two option let's say if you are in this work member PDM screen from here you can take option SP on any of the record okay just take SP hit enter so it will take you to this screen work with all spool file so this is the shortcut way if you are in a member PDM you can simply write SP which is which stands for spool file then hit enter it will take you to this screen from here you can see all the spool files another option is through command so for that you can simply write work SPLF work with spool file and then hit enter so it will also take you to the same screen now here multiple spool files are there so to reach out to the latest one you can simply press shift F6 or otherwise you need to do page down page down page down but better way is to go and press shift F6 which will take you directly to the last spool file and you will see here option bottom you are at the bottom and if you now if you try to do page down it will show you already at the bottom area so we got this option DSP GRN all right so it means this is the spool file which is generated just now so take option 5 over there hit enter and scroll it down here you can find all the information like from receiver to receiver user and everything every information user profile okay now page down once you do page down you will see the report has been printed so this is the report which is showing type flag job program date user profile time number count RLN, all the information okay and let me scroll it up you can see it is divided like this code object library member TGR entry specific data so all information has been printed to this spool file okay so this is the best way to print the spool file now if someone is a let's say if uh, any BA person is asking for the spool you can directly tell him that just write the command work SPLF press shift F6 and whatever the command or you can give the name of the spool as well so that he can search for it and simply go and check this out by taking option 5 so that would be very easy for them and he can take option 5 he can prepare all the required documentation from this data okay now another thing is that let's say if you would like to go and print out the specific record in that case the same process would be repeated with some filtering option so let's say uh, here I want to print but only those data which comes under the general uh, entry type star rcd let's say hit enter three entries this time only three entries has been entered check check them out uh, so for that work splf enter shift f6 last spool 
take option 5 and you can see this time it prints only 3 records okay so this is how we can you can see total number of entries converted 3 only so this is how we can easily utilize DSP JRN command in order to print the data as a spool file I hope this session is clear to all of you and for the for today uh, we have one question I request you to all answer on this question question is how to filter data for journal entries on the basis of date range okay and these all questions are for you it will help you to prepare for the interviews so I request you to share your knowledge put the answer in the chat uh, comment section so that everyone can take reference from it okay and whatever the question we will ask here it it is already covered so you can easily just recall the things and you can answer it in a short manner okay so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss a few more things so thank you for watching tech share method